I first started racing cars when I was presenting a show on Channel 4, which was called Driven. And you can't just strap yourself into a car and go onto a circuit and race. You need to have a real license. So I took my uh, race license, and I'm pleased to say that I passed first time, and uh, I went on to enter my first motor race, where I come second, actually won a podium place on my very first motor race. And uh, that's how I got my racing license, and that's where my love of racing comes from. Driving experience of a Caterham is not like any other car. It's uh, a very exposed little motor vehicle. It's very tight, it's very cramped. Your bum is only a few inches off the ground. The, it's uh, front engine, rear wheel drive. Uh, you really do feel like every inch a racing driver, and that's to just go to the shops to buy a pint of milk. So if you fancy trying yourself at being Lewis Hamilton or Jensen Button for the day, uh, it's not too hard to do. Most circuits up and down the country, Silverstone, Brands Hatch, Donington, Mallory Park, they all have little race schools where you can go and learn how to be a racing driver for the day. You get full on tuition by a, a, an instructor and they will take you out into the circuit, show you exactly the racing line and then you get to go out there and try it for yourself. So the best advice for anyone out there looking to buy a Caterham for the first time is a low mileage one owner car that's been lovingly cared for. Uh, the good news about Caterhams is that uh, they all seem to have done incredibly low mileage. They don't seem to be high on their miles because they're summer cars, they're seasonal. Uh, so if you go and see one that's got incredibly low mileage, don't be worried about that, that somebody's whizzed the clock back. It, it's likely to be true. What I would say to you is that if you're going to buy a Caterham and you want to protect it, protect its paintwork, uh, one of the new methods and one of the things that most race teams have been doing for many years is vinyl wrapping. And that's where you take a sheet of vinyl, wrap the car. You can change the colour of the car instantly. But not only that, uh, if you was to do a race in the car and it gets stone chips and bits of oil and grease and damage on it, you only have to peel the wrap off and underneath is your nice shiny catering. <laughs>